Hello everyone, Stazima here, back again with another video vlog. It's not really the summer anymore, but it's not quite officially fall yet, so we're just going to call it a vlog. There are a few things I want to talk about today, and that first off, I want to say thank you so much, because we reached 10,000 subscribers just a little over a week ago, and that is a huge accomplishment for me, for you guys, for everyone. I never thought I'd reach 10,000, that's such a big number, I never thought I'd see the number reach 10 four zeros behind it it's pretty much a lot but anyway with the 10,000 subscribers that I'm coming I have been able to make a little kind of adjustment in my life to be able to live stream so I am going to be doing live streaming very soon to my channel I'm going to be doing like you know halo play like nights where you come on we're gonna play like custom games we're gonna live stream it going to have a bunch of fun. All that kind of great stuff is going to come pretty soon, within a few weeks hopefully. So live streaming is going to be a big thing coming to my channel very soon along with that 10,000 subscriber mark, which we also did reach 3 million total video views, which is also a pretty big number as well, but let's hope to get that number up in the future. Next up, Quick Fire Season 2. I figured that I'm kind of getting bored of the old setup, so I figured uh, I think it's time to move into Season 3 a little bit, and I do have some ideas for the design of it. I'm going to completely redesign it. I have some pretty good ideas in mind, but I need your guys' help, your feedback from the first seasons, any of the rules, anything you don't like about it, any kind of feedback that you can give me to help improve the next season, the next segment of Quickfire, to make it even better than the second one that you guys enjoy so much. So that's why I need your help in the comments below. Give me some feedback of something you don't like about it or something you do like about it that you want to see more of. So thank you guys for that. Keep making that series a success. Next up, so like I was saying earlier that it is fall and school has started. And now that the school has started, I'm kind of getting a little sleep depraved because usually in the summer I go to sleep around 4 or 5 a.m. And then I wake up at like 1 or 12 o'clock in the morning now I'm going to sleep more like 12 and I wake up at like 6 30 which is really early for me and I, I find it really hard to get up in the early morning I don't know about a lot of you guys but I'm really not a morning person that's really hard for me so I do get really tired easily nowadays so I, I am still going to keep the video coming and lastly I want to talk about today is I've been getting a lot of messages recently where people ask me if I can if they if they can be in my sub box and if you don't know what a sub box is if you go to my channel and you look on the bottom right corner it's a bunch of channels that you that the person the owner of the channel can put channels in that they like to feature or whatever like their friends their buddies or whatever people want me to put them in my sub box because a lot of people seem to have this misillusion that being in other people's sub boxes somehow generates more um subscribers and more views in that general direction but really i think that the amount of people that click on the sub boxes at all is completely negligible so let me tell you on my channel personally i get around 1000 to 700 channel views per day so that's 1000 or 700 people go to my channel and look around most of them i think either come to my channel to either unsubscribe to look at the other videos or you know maybe make a comment on my channel every once in a while I think the low majority, I'd say less than 50%, I'd say maybe 30% or so, even look at the sub box whatsoever, even take a glance at who is in there. And I'd say less than 10% of the people who come view my channel even click on a single person. Being in someone's sub box really doesn't do much for you. I think that, and it's, it is an election year in the United States, and I think that rather than being in people's sub boxes, you, you need to go out and campaign for yourself. You need to go out, make some connections, make some networking with other small channels and be like, hey, let's get together, let's talk, let's be friends, make friends, make buddies. That's how you get your channel to grow is by commenting on others, getting involved in the community, and then people will come and view your content, view your videos, more so than if you were in like everyone's sub box. So from what I've seen from the people in my sub box, from me being in other people's sub boxes, it's just a thing that you do with your friends. You're like, oh, these are my friends, these are my buddies. It's not really something that you do to generate major influx of traffic into your channel. Unless you're like a huge channel like Machinima or something who probably gets like 50,000 views per day. But that 1% of people who click on the sub boxes actually add up if you have like 100,000 views of videos per day. Or uh, rather 100,000 views on the channel per day. But 
for like small channels with like less than 50,000 subscribers, I think that the effect of the sub box is negligible, but it's just really to show off, you know, your friends, these are my buddies, these are who I hang out with, who I collaborate with my videos. So that's pretty much what the sub box is for. It's really just for reaching out with your friends, people of similar channels. Sometimes I like to show channels that I like to watch in my sub box, not necessarily my friends. Really, I don't really put random people in there because, especially smaller channels, because I really don't think that it helps them. I really think that they need to kind of get out of like the lull of trying to get into people's sub boxes and try to get out there and get people to watch their videos more. And that's all I got to talk about for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching as usual. I hope you enjoyed this Halo 4 gameplay going on here. Halo 4 is actually very close. I think it's less than kind of around 60 days away right now. That's pretty exciting. Going to get ready for that. Can't wait for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.